All right, guys, we got our first fish of the morning. Good morning, YouTube. The ultimate fishing addict coming at you here. I think we've got a crappie. I'm not sure, though. It's a, it's a fighter. My goodness. No, we got a bass on this morning. That's awesome. That is awesome for the first fish. Our first fish this morning. He is a lively one. Get some clamps here. Well, you little rascal. All right, guys, there's our first fish of the morning after I uh, was able to get the treble hook out of my hand that he put in me. Pretty decent bass, about, oh, one pound. Nice big old belly on him. You've been eating good. So I'm going to get him unhooked and get him back in the water before he does any more damage. All right, there he is once again, guys. I'm going to let him go here. Guys, I didn't even have time to turn the camera on. I mean, he hit this literally right beside the boat. So I didn't even have time to turn the camera on to show the fight for you. Well, that's nice, uh, nice crappie this morning. First one of the morning. Settle down. Settle down. You're going to tear your mouth up. All right, guys. Nice crappie there. All right, I'm going to get him back in the water. Here. I think this is a bass. He come right off some structure up there on this uh, spinner bait that I'm throwing. Feels like he's got some weight to him. All right, yeah, it is a nice bass. All right, good deal. Oh, he's almost too big to boat flip. All right, that is cool, cool beans. All right, nice way to start off the second bass of the morning. About a pound and a quarter probably, somewhere in that neighborhood. Nice, big, healthy bass. A big old head on him. Nice bass. <laughs> nice, big, healthy. He's not been caught before either because I'm the only one fishing in here, so I always look for holes to see if I've caught him before. All right, I'm going to get him back in the water so he don't get too hot and overstressed, and we're going to keep fishing here. This is getting fun this morning. Yeah, guys, I'll give you a little idea of what I'm doing here. As you can see in front of me, there's some uh, about four trees, one laying down and three upright. When this is not flooded, there's a flat there, almost an island. Well, actually, it is an island. And uh, right now it's about three foot of water above that from all this rain we've had recently. So apparently these bass are laying up there on that flat around them structure because 
That's the second one I've caught just almost right off the edge of one of them trees, casting up into that three foot of water. Because I'm sitting in about uh, 14 foot of water right now where I'm at. I'm casting up on that flat, reeling it back down in, and throwing a, oh, I think it's called bleeding shed uh, colored uh, uh, spinner bait. Let me grab it here, I'll show it to you. Yeah, it's called Bleeding Shed. It's a little 3 16 of an ounce spinner bait. And I've got a white uh, curly grub uh, trailer on there. It's just got two little small spinner uh, blades on it. It's got a little bit of red and mostly chartreuse and white. But yeah, that's what I've been throwing so far the last 15 minutes. I, I was about my fourth cast on that thing and he nailed it right off that structure. So, all right guys, I'm going to Get this thing back in the water and see if I can't catch a bigger one. It's getting exciting this morning. I believe we got us another one. And no, we don't. All we had was weeds on that one, so we caught ourselves a weed fish. I didn't think I'd buried that deep. Well, anyway, we're going to throw it back out there and keep on fishing. You got to catch a weed fish once in a while to keep yourself honest. <laughs> yeah, and, so there's plenty of weeds in here where I'm fishing. As you can see, there's a green film on the way on the other part of the pond over there, and uh, there's plenty of weeds up around this structure. So you got to catch your weed fish every once in a while. All right, guys, we got another one hooked up here. Not sure what this is. Got to find out here. It looks like a big old crappie, and we got a quick release on him. All right. Well, at least I got him almost to the boat, so I'm going to count that one. That's number five for this morning. Well, guys, once again, I didn't have time to turn the camera on. He hit this thing right at the boat. I'm throwing a little green grub, black and green grub, just kind of slow rolling it over some weeds here. This great big old monster bluegill, bluegill, I'm sorry, crappie just throunced it. So yeah, he's a nice, healthy, great big, th I can't even stick my hand around it. I mean, if that gives you an idea, I'll lay him on my arm if he'll lay there. Yeah. Just huge. Probably 12 inches. See if I can get a measurement on him here. Yeah, he's right at 11 inches. So yeah, this beautiful crappie. All right, I'm gonna get him back in the water, so. Didn't get too traumatized. Good morning, guys. An ultimate fishing addict here. Um, I just want I'm coming to you this morning from the pond early. And I'm throwing a fog around. I'm just like flabbergasted right now. I can't really even talk. First cast running it down the bank line on some moss about two foot from the good boat this nice one and a half pounder just nailed it first frog fish ever for me i mean I, I'm, I'm just like shaking i'm so excited about it how it happened and how it worked and i mean i just thought well i'll try a frog again this morning i haven't done any good on frogs you know ever so but yeah i'm just i'm just like this um, but anyway, yeah, one and a half pounder. I'm going to get him back in the water and uh, keep throwing the frog around. This is exciting. Yeah, that's my second big frog fish that made it to the boat. I've got three. One's got my other frog in his mouth somewhere. He's about a four pounder or more that I lost just a few minutes ago. Took my frog and everything. I 
think it was my knot failed. More than likely I was using braid, but I'm not that good at tying palmer knots yet. And I think I, my knot just came undone. But this is my second one off the frog. It made it to the boat. I put, on, I put the junior size of that other frog I had on there, a natural color frog. And he's about, oh, pound and a quarter or so, maybe a pound and a half. He just hit it off the bank over there, so I threw it up in some weeds and drug it back real slow, and he just throunced it. But anyway, yeah, I'm sorry I'm not getting these on camera because it happens so fast, I'm not even have time to turn the camera on so far. I mean, he hit this like three foot from the boat. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get him back in the water and <laughs> keep on throwing this frog. I'm loving it. This is the first morning I have ever caught fish off the frog. This is my second frog fish ever. All right, let's get him in the water. Another one here. Oh, and this is going to be a monster crappie. Wow. Look at the size of that one. Oh, my goodness. I mean, there's some big crappie in here, but this thing is just huge. This is the biggest one I've caught. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at the size of that thing. I mean, look, there's my hand. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. If I can get this stupid little crankbait off my hand, I'll show you what I was throwing after I get him back in the water. This guy is just a monster. I mean, I've caught some big crappie out of here so far, but I'm, I'm by far, this is the biggest one. Let's get a measurement on him. I'm really curious to see what he measures out at. He is exactly 12 inches. Wow. <laughs> that is something else. All right, I'm going to get him back in the water, and then I'll show you guys what I was throwing when I get him back in the water. He probably don't like to be out of water very long. All right, here he goes. There we go. All right. Now, what uh, what I was doing was I was moving from one of I've been frog fishing and doing fairly decent. Got a bunch of blow-ups, a bunch of misses, as usual, on the frog fishing. And um, I... Uh, Decided I was going to go ahead and uh, move to uh, another spot and start fishing for crappie. So I put on this uh, this bluegill. Um, get it up close to the camera here. It's a bluegill colored uh, jointed crankbait, shallow diving crankbait. I don't, know, I don't know if you guys can see the lip on that or not. I'm going to turn it here sideways. It's got a kind of a funny lip, which makes it kind. Of, I believe that makes it kind of like a wake bait just say probably six inches to a foot under the water but uh yeah i was moving from one spot to another and i what i did was i trolled i was trolling i had this out behind me probably oh i don't know 20 30 feet behind the boat and i was about halfway over there and boom he just nailed it on that off the troll so all right guys i'm gonna keep fishing here We've had a good morning on the top water with the frogs, and I uh, uh, had fun with the frog. Caught my first two ever frog fish, which is awesome. Uh, that'll be on this video. Uh, you probably already seen it if you're watching this video, but uh, yeah. And then uh, I had a bunch of blow-ups, several misses, and um, caught one four-pounder that probably, well, I would say it was about four pounds or so from what I could see. I had it uh, tied on 15 pound braid, uh, uh, my big frog, and uh, unfortunately my knot sucked. So it came loose right at the knot, and I mean, he was 
really big. I seen him before he got off. So, unfortunately, that's the name of the game is fishing, and luck sometimes is not on your side. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna get back to fishing here. Guys, I got something here. I hit like a bass, but I'm not sure what it is. Oh, uh, big old crap to eat. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love catching these big old crappie. It never gets old. <laughs> I mean, here's another 12 inch or probably. At least 12 inches. See if I can get a grip on him so I can get this hook out of his triple out of his face. Wires. He's got both, both ends in him. He has got both trebles hooked up tight. So let's see what we can do here and get him unhooked. We get the bottom one. We get the bottom one pretty easy. Let's see if this top one will come out. Ah, the top one just fell out there. The bottom one actually had him hooked. But yeah, I'd say this one, I said 12 inches. This one here is probably about 11. Let's put him on the measuring stick here. Yeah, he comes in right at 12 inches. So there's another nice 12 inch uh, toppy out of the pond. All right, let's get him back in the water. There he goes. Took off just fine. All right, guys, we got another one. Looks like we got a Sabbath this time. Oh, crap, he came off right at the boat. Oh well, I can't show it to you. Quick released himself. Hey guys, it's the Ultimate Fishing Guy back with you again. I just want to show you this beautiful bass I just caught. He weighs in at 3.32. Beautiful fish. Just caught him a few minutes ago off of a uh, shallow diving crankbait. I was throwing up on a flat and retrieving back and he hit it just man just pounded it so yeah I wanted to give you guys a good look at him look at the size of him he's been eating good nice fish all right guys I'm gonna get back to fishing this is exciting this is a uh, this is Saturday afternoon and I've been down here a couple hours and I've caught more than one fish but this is the nicest one so far today all right, guys, I'm going to let you go.